Hi guys and welcome to episode 27 of the raid series. All right, we are off to Shoreline out to kill some PMCs. Now with this quest, it's a little bit broken at the moment. You can get away with just using a bell clava, but um, if it doesn't work, we you know it's a wasted raid. So if you want to just take safe, take yourself a scav vest. Uh, we're off to kill 10 PMCs. Uh, whilst doing that, we're going to mark a heap of stuff for our therapist and for peacekeeper. We're going to try our best to kill as many players as possible. Now, BT or BP ammo will, be, will suffice for this round, or for this, uh, but also BT as well. Whichever we can get our grubby hands on, that's what we're going to use. I think we've got the option of BP at the moment. Um, 300 rounds, that will do for that. I do not like the site we're using, so I'm going to switch that one out. I don't really like using this gun for a long-range battle, so I'm actually going to switch out this whole gun. Um, it's better for close range. Take that with that. Put that on there. And uh, let's put a Pico 6 back, not the front. Them and that. Plenty of uh, BP ammo. We've got that there. That's plenty. That down there. And we're good to go. Now, with Shoreline, um, we need other keys, not these ones. If we have the money, I would like love, I would absolutely love to get a second, um, second box case. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't really. I'm going to sell some of this stuff because we just don't need it right now. We could do gunsmith part, um, gunsmith part four. Gonna sell that too. Gonna do whatever we can to make a little bit of money up. So I'm gonna sell these on the flea market. 29,499. Sell nice and quick. Um, sell this to therapist. Oh, sorry, to mechanic. Skier is gonna have a field day with these ones. And now we've got enough for a docs case. Document. Document case. Now, when we finish part four, I think we get the docs case for it or part five, but we can always sell that one later. All right. Now, with this docs case, we want to chuck in some really good but cheap keys. Uh, 205 is a really good cheap key, usually, uh, or 203. So, we got 203, bam. Really good key, but cheap. Uh, we get three, oops, 310. I think this is running a bit expensive now. Uh, any of the 216. Actually, we need 112 for a quest. So, 209,000. We could use, get this key um, and then see. If we get two motors. We sell these two motors, get the key, sell that as well. And then once we get the, uh, the quest done, Holy shit, these sell for a lot now. 23, 1, 2, 3. Right, and we'll sell that. Now, once we get the quest done, we can sell the key later on. That will make me very happy. I like the SKS. It's a really good gun for uh, or shoreline to take out PMCs. So I want to hold on to that one if I can too. Got those, both those motors sold. One of them sold. I think that's enough for that key now. Uh, 12. Cool. That is for the quest. I think it's here. Oh, we've got this one too. All right, for this quest, we need E306 West 2 16. E306 and West 2 16. So this is West 112 for vitamins. Interesting. We'll have a look at how much they cost. So East 306 should be cheap. It is good. So we'll grab that one. West 216. 195k. Don't know how easily we can make that money right now without selling 
Have we done a the illumination upgrade yet? Well, it's like a thousand light bulbs. I haven't. I want to hold on to them because it's going to cost us more later. Not more, but it's going to cost us a bit. Those scissors sell for a bit. Bolts and screws we could probably part ways with for now. Yo, we can part ways with. 41. I think we can just sell it to the therapist for about the same. Yep. All right, cool. So this... For that. 84, 1, 2, 3. Screws and nuts. 10, 4, 9, 9. Bolts. 15, 4, 9, 9. And I think we could sell that other thing, the eye capped a skier or something. Not much, but there anyway. Cool. So now with all that money, we'll be able to get our quest, our key to the quest. Well, it was about that much. I think it might have been a little bit more. Hmm. 216. We're running on, on the cheaper end, <laughs> but it's all right. We've got some good keys. We've got three quest keys and a, and a really good money making key. There's a lead spawn in there as well. Uh, we've got the water for the actual for the twenty-five k for that. Akramari, does that sell? It does. We've got three things up for sale now. So, all right, let's get into a raid. Have some fun. PMC kills. Mark a heap of shit. Eventually go up to the resort. Get some stuff up there. We can get lucky. A printed circle board and a broken G phone. And we're laughing. Get into a raid. Alright now. What we do from here is really depending on where we spawn. Um, it can be quite crazy off the bat sometimes. Sometimes we get lucky and we can run around for a bit, get some markers down first. I would much prefer to get some markers down to run less risk of loss of money. Um, this house is actually a really good house. Start near. Thanks, man. Um... of the loot that comes in inside here but it's not really that good for where we need to be we'll just take keys just because it's money at the moment I don't like someone's at the back then in the bush Shit. Why is the game frozen? Hello, game? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Risky money. Are we just going to hug? It's not a bad spawn for what we need to do. The problem is we're going to probably have to run through players to get to it. There's a tank inside this village here, and then we're going to go straight down the coast to mark two ambulances down there. Now we are on the hunt for players as well. But I like to third party as much as I can in this game when it comes to hunting down players because unless you're like best geared, the way I play is very aggressive and people play slow and so they hear me coming first. So unless I'm wearing like a gen for assault, like, I can't take more than a couple of hits before I die. So, when I'm wearing this kind of gear, I'd much rather play slightly more... Um, slower. 
because of that fact. Just searching jackets for keys. If we get a good key, it's, it's worth so much money. These M's at the moment are worth like 80,000 rubles. not really worth anything. Now. Frames seem to be like tanking a little bit at the moment. I don't really know what's going on with that. being very focused right now because there's like three three spawns like one over there one over there and one down at the coastline and there's one inside the village that we're in but there's actually four spawns there's Thing a bit, a bit slower. Nice shot, part four. I right, see the PMC kill still counted, even though we're not wearing the vest. But hopefully they'll fix that in the future. If they want it to be a certain way, they should have it a certain way. Right. It's been a bad bug been around for a long time. Right, first one marked. Do mag, so we're gonna to top up mag. I'm gonna check for the safe key that's built on this bus. There. I like to hold high ground as much as I can. Um, if I was to stick in that low ground, someone comes over the top, I've got nowhere to run, whereas they've got the advantage. So try and keep high ground if you can, but don't over silhouette yourself. So don't just sit always on top of the hill. Balance. Now there was one other tank, the bunker one. Oh, we want to move if we can. So that's over at the village. So we've got both ambulances here to mark. Well, that one's getting marked. I'm going to quickly check this bus. But we know there's a player in the village right now at the cottages. So I'm going to try and get this one marked and then uh, we're going to start heading over to those cottages nice and quickly. Probably we'll be looting the safe inside the cottages right now. So if we can get over there nice and quickly, cut them off. Not exactly cut them off, but have the advantage on them because they we know where they are when they don't know where we are. Scanning. 
We're looking, we're looking for people along there. Now that sounds like probably power station. But that's probably where we could head next. Yeah, it still sounds like power station to me. Now this door's not open, which means they're probably not inside this cottage. But they are. Second. I think books worth a fair bit of money. Fifty K. Oh, that's good. We're not in the grenade kill quest. So we'll just keep taking them. Even if we die, we still have them there. Well, 21 just stood there. Now, our hydration is quite low. We can uh, drink up here. Take that AKM. With it, like that. I think out of all this, that's worth the least down there. Now, what we'll to do? A key spawn on this right here. Be topping up these mags again whilst we're uh, around. Makes this worth a little bit. Oh. Reload. Two of ten PMTs down. Now this jump could work every time, but for some reason recently a hard time with it. Alright, cottage key spawns on top of this barrel. That's uh, so opened up this cottage right here. We have a few options. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go across to the power station. Past the power station, there is a tank. And then I'm going to go up to the resort and try and get some of the stuff in the resort. Clean up the players as they're leaving. And then go to the tank of Munko. That's the perfect world right there. See what happens. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, and they haven't really changed in a long time, um, Shoreline has a maximum of 12 players. I am one of those 12, so there's 11 other PMCs we can kill. I've killed two of them, so nine more is the max we can see. Now, while we're walking, I'm going to have a quick swig of water. IRL water. Since um, I've been I've been sick the last few days, so and the more I talk, the more my croakier my voice gets. So 
<clears throat> That's why I didn't stream today and I might not stream tomorrow at this rate. But I might just keep recording these episodes, get a heap done. That's good noise for us. That sounded like power station to me. All right, so see how the sniper scab's looking in that direction? That means there's a player over there. That's my understanding because... Nah, he just saw me. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. We're not going to go that way now. I thought I just heard a noise. I really do want to go down and mark that, uh... Mark that tank. I want to get rid of all these markers. Trying to keep that stamina just above going red. So I can do a quick dash if I need to towards some cover. Tank's located just in this low ground over here. Now if I look directly at the sniper scarf, he'll probably lock on. They've got they actually have an internal like defense mechanism when a player looks at a scav, they'll actually look at you and then start shooting at you. Which is probably what happened just before. Alright, so this low ground over here has the uh, the tank. And we're going to head up to the resort and get the last uh, ambulance. Pick up the items in the resort. Players around bonus, if not, all good. Guy's shooting at someone. Now, if I had the mows in right now, this would be the perfect time to get that 100 meter headshot kill. We just saw him. Can he heard me?
Man, that sucks. Now they're gone the other side of that concrete barrier. That's interesting. I have no idea where this guy went. I'll tell if that's someone there. Doesn't look like it. Sorry, to, that sounds like a kid to me, or an MP9. Probably a player scav. I think that was a play scav. Yeah, that was a play scav. Gonna top up mag for a second. And then reload. I don't know who he was shooting at. The ambulance I need to get to is right in the middle.
So, East 306, West 216, West two, uh, 112. West 112. There are three places. They're just listening right now for any footsteps. More than likely someone's going to be just lying around in the corner waiting for me. Right. Make a noise, we'll get him. One more circuit board we need. They've already been taken, to be honest. I don't know if this. Confirm my keys. But we we do have the two oh three key we can go, 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 go. I hate staying in this bridge to play here. Watching for the XP, you get a big gun on him. Go to a scav. Could have loot on him. Does have loot on him. Ooh. Screws aren't worth that much. I could be wrong. I probably got it back to front then. Yeah. This one's already been open from the other side. Let it spawn right on top of this desk. Most players would have already left by now. Now, why are you more player scabs? Yeah, every... That shot's all the way down at, um... What's his name? This thing. Why not? Um... The tank to mark still. Head downstairs. Pick up that mixer. We drop that. Look, nothing. Yep, nothing. Let's just go. Better get out of here. I'm getting too excited over all this loot. Now, there is no requirement to do every single quest in the one run like I do. I'm a bit of a madman like that. But if you do get hurt, your arm is fucked, my arm is half fucked, I really shouldn't be overcommitting to any fight. Um, but yeah, 
If your arm is fucked, you're already hurt. You get one or two items down and you want to get out. It's more than a smart move. I just like to really push it to the limits. Best case scenario, we'll have green smoke over here too. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, well, I see green smoke. Very small amount, but... Here yeah, now. There you go. Sucks that we didn't just get that third player. I don't know. He just his noise just stopped. It didn't sound like he got further and further away. He just stopped all of a sudden. Really, really weird. I couldn't really track him at all. He might have just walked down the bottom of that hill, went prone in the bush, but then it would have shot me. I would imagine. I don't know. Anyway, 15 seconds and we're gonna bug out of this raid. seconds here and ladies and gentlemen that was a stellar raid two pmc kills we got a lot of things marked we picked up a lot of items uh we got some quest items we looted that was good that was really good didn't loot the first tag look at i know i threw the tag i threw the tag so, we're placed down, so we drop off all these quest items, we'll hand in some quests. We need a West 306k, I think, leading up to the next quest for uh, Healthcare Privacy Part 2. That's all good. We can pick that one up. So, Healthcare Privacy Part 1. Bam. Done. Um, we have two PMC kills now for this, and we can hand in this knife. We'll probably bug out in a second. Actually, no, it won't, because I don't know if you try and do it twice in a row. Right, um, we still need car batteries. So West 306 is what we need for the next one. This is now handed in. These two are both on interchange. Um, we missed one of these, which isn't a big deal because it's you don't need a key for it. But um, there's one thing required for that. Peacekeeper, this quest is now handed in. Uh, this one is just find the two drones, the UAV crashes. Pretty straightforward, that one. Um, we have the two power cords for here. Here. Uh, so T-shaped plugs and printed circuit boards. That's pretty straightforward. We've got to set your heap of computers, which we can do in Shoreline too. Uh, circuit board and a G-phone. G-phones can be found in Shoreline, but it's much easier to find them on interchange. Um, mechanic, we've still got uh, this gunsmith quest to do. We can do um, do this one because we've got the DVL there waiting for us for the, I think, ski or whoever it is. Did success. This is just to find on interchange. Markings. I didn't realize we had those three waiting there for us to hand in. Anyway, we need one more fuel conditioner. So duffel bags is a place for that. Black rocks, that's a customs one. Interchange is killing some stuff. Um, those will just come in time. We can farm it, but it's not really something we need to worry too much about. Um, pain effects happen pretty much when you've got a broken limb, blacked out limb. Uh, yeah, your bleeding, I think, causes pain. Anything's really pain. If you get hit from a scav and you're hurt, then you can uh, do that. Uh, besides that, all the hand-ins, the quest rewards. I'm not going to stress too much about these ones. I might just, I might just sell those ones to make the cash flow up that little bit more. There is a hide it upgrade I mind doing as well. Yeah. Oh, that DVL sitting there waiting for the gunsmith quest. Sell these ones to mechanic. Done there. Um, PS ammo. We'll just hold on to it for now. It's not going to hurt us. And. Go to the hideout real quick and get that other upgrade done. Requires two relays. Not a big deal. Lights up. Laboratory level two requires water collection level one, which we need to hand in these things. But at the moment, not going to worry about that. We don't want to blow too much cash on the hideout. We will get there eventually, though. 
Uh, this book is for the Kappa Container Quest. Um, for now, we'll just hold on to it. But if we need to make money, there's definitely something we can sell. That should be our third propane tank. So now we've got that ready for uh, a Peacekeeper Quest later on. Whiskey can just be sold on the flea market. But these bolts and screws can be hold on to for now. Um, got cigarettes here. We need dog tags at the moment. The caps containers, we're going to need heaps of caps. That could be sold. Uh, top up these mags. That. Don't need that. That can be sold. Those could be put away. I wreck back to use for a later quest. That AKM can be used for a quest. That is required right now. We can hear that. Guys, that is all we need to go into our next raid, which we're pretty much ready to go straight away. Uh, except when we need the West 306. It'll probably already be open if uh, we get to the get to the place late, but either way, we can always sell it again. West 306, ready to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. Do stream on Twitch every day of the week. I've heard, sure you heard this bill many a times, but guys, more than happy to answer questions during my live stream. Uh, if you ever have any type of questions, you can always hit me up down below or during my live stream. And lastly, I'll see you next time. It isn't over. Never mind, I'll find a PMC like you. I wish everyone was as bad as Veritas.